March 17th, 2020. Honeybees are in the buckwheat heavy. Making that last push. It's a beautiful thing. Jerusalem artichokes, just getting ready to open flower. September 17th, 2020. All three hives are pulling pretty good traffic. Of course, the two new swarms from this year, just fantastic traffic. And uh, I was just down back. Honeybee ran into me. I was just down back, and uh, well, maybe that's a scout telling me to back out. They're a little feisty this time of year. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? I was just down back uh, pumping some water, and I was looking around at all the goldenrod down there. And it's loaded with honeybees everywhere. And I grabbed a clip earlier today, which I'll share. Uh, they were all through the buckwheat real heavy, too. And also the holy basil and, uh, you know, all the other stuff around. But the goldenrod is really loaded with them right now. It's pretty much full open. And they're working it hard, so I'm hoping that when I come back in to do my final inspection, in the next week or so here, they will have pulled a little bit of honey for me, but we'll see. If not, it's okay. Uh, we gained plus one colony this year, even though we lost two late spring last year. So I have no complaints. And this top bar hive is thriving uh, and I'm going to do an inspection on this soon too we'll take a, uh, a late season look inside of here I suspect they're just it's full of comb full of honey full of resources and bees traffic in and out of here has been fantastic all season and uh, I'm not going to take a whole lot of honey out of this uh, so hopefully this colony will come through and be super strong in the spring. Fill this hive very rapidly, very early. And when they do that, start pumping out swarms. I can capture a bunch of new colonies next year from it. That's my theory and plan. Uh, hopefully the bees will cooperate and uh, that'll work out. But I think it will because uh, the guy I got these hives from 
tells me that that's basically what he did with these top bar highs. He just let them fill it up and uh, be a robust, strong colony. And he said they would pump out somewhere between five and ten swarms every season. So uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, if I were a bee, I'd be rolling on that pollen bed too. <laughs> those are not honeybees, by the way, for those who don't know. I think they're like a smaller version of a bumblebee. I think they're the ground nesting ones. And if they are those, they get a really nasty sting. Don't get stung by them. It hurts a bit. <laughs> See how shiny those leaves are? They've had some good trace mineral nutrition. Nice glossy sheen on that leaf surface. <laughs> 